Welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. It feels like a survival day, doesn't it? It just feels like a survival time. Let's go with just deserts again. I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it today. I'm gonna I'm gonna set a brand new world record high score Bananasaurus Rexathon run. And I've already taken two damage. Alright, I'm clearly lying to you. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna try out the remaining survival modes here, and then we'll probably try out another run with the Ancient. I think I can, uh... I honestly think I can make that one win. I think I can make that wagon... wagon roll. Make it roar, I was gonna say. I, I could, I guess, do that, technically, since I'm piloting a dinosaur. You know, another sentence that I was so sure I would construct and spew out of my mouth hole at some point in my young, young life. Oh man, look at that synchronization of health bars. That is beautiful. I should probably just maintain that for the remainder of the run here. I'm going for at least two minutes. That's my... That's my ideal goal, but, you know, uh, something like 160 would also be pretty fantastic. What, Bear? Couldn't be nine minutes more? What the hell's wrong with you? There we go. Got that synchronization back. Okay, that's all we need. All we need is to have three health on every single party member, and we'll be fine forever. If I can't get that, I don't know what even life is anymore, man. Does getting the hides help, I wonder? I can't imagine it does. I think that's just a, uh, nice little... a gift. A gift to make me feel better about myself. Tommy gun will probably be okay. Actually, this is the homing gun, isn't it? Yeah, that's the uh, that's the gun that doesn't do me quite well in the uh, in the desert here, or basically anywhere. In fact, this is just a shitty gun. I'm gonna be totally honest. I really don't like this one at all. It's, uh, it's not much of an upgrade. That much is for sure. Okay, we got the splatter effect now. Booyah! Holy crap! Oh, we are uh, we are in danger. There are scorpions on every continent except Antarctica. The one that killed Courtney was in North America. I'm glad it can still be with you uh, at me in my general direction. I've nearly made it to my goal. <laughs> We're so close. I'd be so distraught. If I missed it by seconds, okay, I'm so close. Ten seconds left. Please. Please just let me get there. Oh my god. It's getting ridiculous. Just spray and pray. Hope for the best. I think I've got it. Yes! Okay. Now. The moment of truth has arrived. Oh, we got some health. Things are starting to really pick up steam, though. I'm starting to be very concerned for myself. Walter was killed by a vulture. All right. I've got a uh, Hank Aaron left in the back of the wagon. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh, Lord. Oh, there it goes. Michael felt a burning sensation wash over his body as the poison paralyzed him. He died shortly after. Holy cow. That's still two stars. Holy shit. These are tough, man. Pain on the plane. Let's go for it. I'm. Oh, hey, zombie time. Oh, shit. This is gonna be new. I really like the, uh... I like the music choice here for the survival game mode! Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's got like a, a smooth jazz feel to it. It's, uh, it's very... Very mellow. I keep grabbing health when I obviously shouldn't be grabbing health yet. I also need to, uh... Make better use of this... Of this ammunition. This is a very good gun to have. It does ramp up the, the tempo a little bit here now, though. I suppose I shouldn't insult jazz and or this track with my accusations. My wild accusations, cuz- <laughs> Oh god! Those buffalo. Out of freaking nowhere, I swear to god. Okay. We're good. Wild accusations, though. Dude, we're, in the, we're in the Great Plains. Funny. It's funny. It's comedy. You got it. Oh god. Wow! They just plow right through everything, don't they? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna stay alive here. Got that two-minute goal in mind again. Things are starting to get crazy! Oh, wow. We're down to one hit. We're down to one hit. And there's the... Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Jesus! Oh, I did not think... <laughs> I did not think that would be... Uh, something I had to be ready for. Okay, fine. As you will. I'll take the one star for now. Hang on. What, what do we have left? We've done that one. We've done Pain on the Plane, Just Desserts, I believe. Yep, we tried that one out as well. Alright, so we've tried everything but Howling Good Time. Let's go ahead and go for it. What could possibly go wrong? With one of the more uh, difficult aspects of the game that I constantly struggle with. How could I possibly have issue with this? Let's get that two minute time though, man. In fact, screw it. Let's go for three stars. I'm sure it's not that far off. Maybe it's a star per minute. That would make sense mathematically. If I were Sparse Vector, I'd be like, Say, you know what we should base our star ranking system on is the, uh, the amount of minutes that they spend in there. If they get 55, we'll give them 55 stars. They can cross over all kinds of game types. 
That was, uh, that was smart, Victor. I've learned his voice through years of study. It's quite difficult. You'll have to trust me. Don't look him up. I promise. No, nope, just, you're, you'll be wasting your time and mine. Come on now. Just give me the benefit of the doubt, please. Just, just this one time. Oh my god, this is starting to get kind of dizzying, honestly. I'm having to watch the, uh, the scrolling effect of the wolves as they, as they come through. I'm just gonna stare straight at the screen. I'm staring right at it. I, I'm not, I'm not actually making any effort to move my eyeballs. I'm just going by peripherals exclusively. This is actually helping quite a bit. <laughs> I've solved it! I've solved the mystery of how to play the game, and then I, I lost out on it immediately. Wow, yeah, okay, that was, that was short-lived. Oh lordy. Alright, hang on a second. Do I wanna, do I wanna maintain this spread shot, or do I wanna go for something different here? I can't tell. You know what? Maybe I'm better off just letting them come past. Yeah, that... Now, <laughs> a wolf chewed on Lucille until she died and a wolf ate Kimberly's insides. Okay, well, things are not going well anymore. Oh, I had a good thing going. There we go, Pamela died in a wolf attack. Holy shit. Thanks. Thanks, man. Well, those are some shitty times. Let's go on another adventure. <laughs> we'll try. I need to resurrect the good old-fashioned Charles, too. And I, need to, I need to fix these characters in general, man. These are all... These are all sorts of wrong. Oh crap, I didn't do it. Oh well, we'll go with misguided Charles in life for a little while longer. Rock the Ancient one more time. Set off into the forest with our dinosaur eggs of doom. This Stegosaurus had a lot of babies, that much is for damn sure. This Stegosaurus is a whore. Or just a very, uh, very devout Catholic trying to, trying to, uh, spread the seed. Spread the seed of the Actually, this is a very uh, noble dinosaur trying to maintain the species' existence all on her own. Oh god, what am I doing? I gotta, I gotta keep myself alive. Keep my species alive. The species of bear. It's a very, uh, it's a very rare burnt breed these days. They're uh, struggling to keep themselves afloat because they don't swim. Machine gun bandit wagon. All right, here we go. We got this. Just start firing. Firing wildly. I think I want the pterodactyl for this, honestly. I can't decide. I still think Hawkbro is the most OP, but this pterodactyl is pretty damn good. Wild berries, ahoy. Beautiful. Oh, bears, bears, bears. Lions, tigers, and bears with berries. A swarm of rabbit squirrels are where as well. Yeah, pterodactyl's, pterodactyl's pretty good. Pretty damn good, but the uh, the hawk bro is pretty ridiculous. River crossing time, and that's probably why there's no disadvantage associated with the ancient, because the pterodactyl is just it's okay, but it's not gonna it's not gonna guarantee you victory. We're actually gonna ford this this time. It's been a while since we forded the river, and that actually looks pretty awesome. I've always wanted to trudge a dinosaur through the water. This has been. Well, ever since I uh, finally achieved my lifelong dream of uh, piloting a dinosaur in low Earth orbit, you know, that one was that one was okay as well, I guess, but this, that right there, that was something else. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Oh, all of a sudden we're in, uh, we're in dead buffalo territory, and uh, I unfortunately don't get any kind of benefit from that because they are still ca quite capable of running into me and making me die. Oh, just like that. Okay, yep, let's be a bit more careful this time around. I need to find a uh, day, day number set description. Oh god, yep. Here's the, Here come the handbags. We, we've we been waiting for these. Alright, luckily we're getting two at a time here, so this is working out just splendidly for me. Alright, gotta stay in the bottom too, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get through in, in time. No reference exception, not drive reference, not set to an instance of an object. Oh, goodness. Here comes the glitch. Here comes the glitch. Oh, yes, this guy. Good stuff. I don't know whether or not the, uh, the eggs are dealing any more damage than is normal, but... Hopefully we make it. Program reset! There we go! Wonderful. For a trader time. Oh, we made it through the glitch. That was scary. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up some health here, I think, just to be safe. There we go. All the recreational buffalo shooting started a prairie fire! Oh, goodness! This is new. I like it. 
Shoot an egg at the fire. Hey, there we go. That's kind of effective, right? We should be able to put out the flame. The smoke was suffocating, so they hurried to escape the fire. That sounds like the best plan, to be honest. I'm not even mad about this. I, I encourage scampering through the prairie wildfire as, as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, oh, goodness. Okay, that was a uh, confusing hitbox. Ah! There we go. Well, I imagine the wagon axle broke. We were going very, very fast. Bear left the wagon and walked to the nearest trading post miles away. And he took some eggs with him. Because he got hungry. Coyotes pounding away. Should be a lot easier to deal with now that we've got a... motherfucking pterodactyl on our side. Yep. Usually pretty advantageous, then. Unless you're fighting somebody with a T-Rex, then you're just boned. It was a long journey, and they showed them health kits right at the edge of the window just to give them false hope. But alas, it was never meant to be. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Health box and a missile launcher. My ideal Friday night. Oh, ooh, ooh, speak of the devil. Is this thing a homing missile? Oh god, I thought for a second there. There we go, very long journey. I thought for a moment's time we had a, uh, we'd found ourselves a homing missile, but... Sadly, it was not meant to be. Maybe I'll find one one day. I wouldn't be surprised if there were a few more weapons that we haven't, uh, haven't discovered yet in our journeys here. Okay, finally Bear reached the trading post and spent all of his hard-earned dollars to get the replacement axle and travel back. Travel back home! There we go. We are gonna make it, baby. I am not gonna lose myself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one egg. Do not miss your chance to pterodactyl. Wise words from, uh, from Tupac Shakur there. Hope you guys paid attention in your gangster rap appreciation class. And I really hope that somebody gets mad at me for not correctly attributing those lyrics, because that would be wonderful. Finally, Bear reached the wagon. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. They sat around the campfire and just relaxed and enjoyed the nice weather for a change. <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, I like that one. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Let's go to the desert. I just practiced the desert a little bit. I feel, I, I feel, um, prepared. That's the word I'm looking for. It's just because I'm, I'm so rarely in that state of mind. I, I struggle to, uh, to utter it, to make the utterance. They came across another fur trader. Wow, that was fast. 40 hides. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Damn it. Oh, why would you give it to me before we go through the desert? That's dumb. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get some snakeskin. Maybe uh, make up the difference for this for this upcoming uh, purchase that we may be able to make. I doubt, actually, we'll be able to buy anything else through the remainder of this trip, so hopefully we can just... Uh... You know what? I'm just going to focus on avoiding damage, honestly. Because I seriously doubt we're going to have another uh, opportunity to to purchase from a, from a vendor, so let's just focus on staying alive here and not worry about the furs any longer. If they're, if, oh god, yeah, as I, as I do something incredibly stupid and put myself in harm's way. But what I mean to say now is uh, if, if they're right in our line, of course, we will try to uh, take them out, but minus that, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Okay, here we are. We got this now. We're good to go. We're good to go. The vultures will pass right on by. The scorpions will give chase for a little while. Other than that, we should be good. I think we are uh, going to make it. Oh, God, I'm dumb. Supplies in the sand on the side of the trail. Bear left the wagon to investigate, so I hope this is health. There's a little bit. Except Bear wasn't the one that needed it, unfortunately. <laughs> he was in quicksand. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, no. The scorpions saw him as a weak prey. I certainly am. I certainly am, scorpions. I don't have a massive weapon to use on you or anything like that. No, that, oh my god, though, really, wow. Woo, somehow he pulled himself out of the quicksand and returned to the wagon. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, all of a sudden, I'm not in such good shape anymore. The oxen ate some funny-smelling shrubs. That does not bode well for me, and the oxen seemed confused. Yep, yeah, we got our backwards controls again. Oh boy. Well, I'm not terribly interested in hunting, honestly, so... Although I could get rid of this ammunition, because I don't really want to deal with this with the, uh... With the wolves soon to smell the blood. I might be dead here. I don't, I don't like my odds of dealing with this... With this wolf problem with... Oh, there were a lot of llamas! Oh! Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is different. Wow! Lots of llamas! 
it's a, it's a regular old llama parade. A pack of patrol would be pleased. Pack of wolves smell the blood. Okay, this is this is what I was expecting. All right, I've got to focus like crazy here. Oh god, yep, it's gonna be tough. No blinking for the remainder of this particular portion. Backwards controls all the way to the back here now. There we go. Just gonna wait until they're right in line with me to guarantee our safety. There's some health I can totally grab. Thank you. Uh, might as well use this. Oh, that's ridiculous. I think I just barely took damage. The oxen finally started acting normal again. Thank God. Oh, another fur trader. Okay, I am uh, putting my foot in my mouth, I guess. Faster wagon wheels for 102 animal hides. I might as well spend them. Might as well get that option. All right. Faster around the screen now. I'll take it. An avalanche started. Oh, boy. All right, we can do this. Oh, God, I can make it. I can make it through this day. I will not let you die, bear. I promise. A few wolves attacked during the avalanche. Just a few. Just a few. No big deal. All right. We can get that. We can get some health. That is awesome. All right. Nice. Thank you very much. We're good. Oh, God damn it. Wife, you can make it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should not stay near the back. That's a bad call. Wow. The carefully navigated ab around the debris strewn through the mountain pass. I am so close. So close here. I probably shouldn't have this gun, to be honest. I'm just going to go ahead and burn through this ammo, because I think I'd rather have the dinosaur eggs here. Okay, we're good. Nice! Oh, man. Oh, come on! Damn it! Oh, that's so bad, especially with the faster travel now. Okay. Just focus. Focus. It's all you, baby. Here we go. Stay on the top. It's working. Oh, damn it! Dive the wife was knocked out the wagon when it struck some debris. The ox stepped on her head. Damn it all! Oh, why couldn't it be me? They traveled so fast they accidentally drove off a cliff. Oh, no. Oh, the flock of crows. Oh, God. This is the, uh, this is the run killer here. We can do it. Stay in the middle. Stay straight smack dab in the middle of the screen. I like that there is an uh, instance in which it is a good idea to stay right in the middle. That uh, certainly is a good change of pace. This is a nice little pattern that we've got going on here. I think I might have found a way to dupe the game. The wagon was now a raft. All right. We just got to get through this nonsense. We've made it, I believe. Had to avoid boulders as their wagon navigated rapids. Come on, Ancient. We can do this. Come on, Ancient. Give me some health again. I would certainly appreciate that. Oh my god, there it is. I can't get to it, though. Damn it. That wasn't worth the risk of losing Charles, I don't think. Although, actually, it might have been. If we lost Charles and got more health for bear, that would probably be uh, a better situation. It must have been salmon season because there were a bunch of bears in the river. How quaint. All right. Oh, God. I can get that one. Oh, man. Whoa, Nelly. Pro navigation. Them faster wagon wheels, though. That was, uh, that was the, uh, the run maker there. There we go. Oh, we're in good shape now. Okay. There we go. We got this. They noticed something on the horizon. A bandit on a raft. Okay. So we got bears, we got boulders, and we got bandits. The three Bs of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Here we go. Here we go, man. Can we... He's carrying them off. The pterodactyl is carrying away the bears. I, I am quite pleased with that, actually. Oh, God. All right. Well, oh, there's some big damage. That hurts. That really hurts me. Oh, damn it. Charles bled to death on the ground. Somehow managed to uh, crawl over to shore, apparently, before the bullet freed him from his life. All right. We're getting two every time we hit these guys properly, but that's easier said than done. Oh, my God. They stole some kind of riverboat. All right. Here we go. Yeah, god damn it, we can hit right off the start here. Okay, I gotta get that health, I gotta get that health. There we are. Oh man, oh god. There's another one. These bears keep intercepting the shots on the riverboat. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. There's more health, holy shit, it's being so kind to me. It's being so generous. Bears by himself, but he is not giving up. He's not giving up hope just yet. My friends, we may still find a way. I'm totally using the boulders to my advantage to send the pterodactyl at the boat. This is awesome. This is so good! Following the attack, the river became calm. Bear reached the coast and left to admire the sunset and shoot down some seagulls if he gets the opportunity. Oh man. That was insane. 
Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. Wow! What a day! Victory with the, uh, with the Ancient. That is awesome. Okay, thanks for watching this episode of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. That does help support me quite a bit. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.